Hello guys, Samson here, back in the world of Jurassic Park Revelation. So today guys, I thought we would start off the day by getting into something new. Guess what I found? Guys, we got it. Charged Certus Quartz Crystals. So excited. So excited. This is great. So we ended up getting them from our quarry, which is really nice. It's good to know that we can get this stuff from our quarry. We also got some Minecio Excellence, which is interesting. It kind of just picks up whatever ends up down there, which is nice. But we're really really filling up guys we have so many things as well it's just getting crazy to try and manage all this so excited to get this because that means we can start getting into our AE system today I've been crunching the numbers and it looks like we should have enough to get something very very basic going the last thing I needed to check was this stuff yep it looks like we should be good so let's start getting into this and hopefully at some point during our uh, little adventure here we'll end up getting a couple more of these which will make things a little easier on us so what we're going to do is we're going to need some redstone we got some here we're also going to need i believe let's see i think it was nether quartz did we grind it all up we did okay, i convert here we go so something cool, guys, that we can do now that we have a pulverizer that I forgot about is we can grind up our stairs into nether quartz, which is awesome. It's so good. Look at that, six per. That's really good. That's really good to return. So how we get started with this, I believe we're going to utilize our destructed culture vat here right on this side. And we're going to chuck some stuff into the water. So we're going to take our, th uh, you know, we're going to take two of them for now because I just am nervous. I don't want to use all... I'll, uh, three of them. I'm going to chuck all that in there. We're going to take a look, and bam! It just turned into flux crystals. Sweet. Okay, so let's get into this, guys. First thing we're going to need to make is a power acceptor. Or energy acceptor, sorry. So it takes one of our crystals. It's going to take some quartz glass, which is just dusts and regular glass. And we're going to need some iron. So I think we have just about everything on us. We're just going to need to grab some iron here. We'll grab a whole stack. Why not, eh? And we'll throw that in there. Let's come over to our handy dandy crafting table here and look at making up some quartz glass. So our energy acceptor is right here. Look over here. Do we have glass on us? Oh, we don't. Whoops. Let's grab some chicken and grab some glass. Good stuff, guys. Let's get into this here. Finally, now that I have everything, Bam, bam, bam. All right, let's make let's make eight for now. We'll just shift click all this out of there, and let's make our energy acceptor. Awesome. So this energy acceptor can take power of any other type and convert it over to the type of power we're gonna need for our AE system. So what I'm gonna do for now, hmm, I'm gonna run this. I think maybe underneath here and see if that won't work out for us. So let's stick our energy acceptor there and it should be working, it should be working good. So we have that. The next thing we're gonna need is some cabling. Actually, the next thing we're gonna need, yeah, cabling. Cabling's probably the next thing to work on. So let's come over here to our table and let's find the right cable. There's a lot of different cables in here, but we're just looking for this, an ME glass cable. So we need two of our crystals, and we need some of this stuff. So it's just dust and more glass. So let's make that up. Click all this out of here again. Take these. Take two of these. And we got our cable. So we are already are running really, really low on materials. Let's, uh, let's offload some of this extra junk here that we don't need. Let's chuck some of this into our bag here. Looking better already. And excuse the cobble. Good. So we have our cable here. Let's move this over here. We'll keep this stuff. We can use it later, but for right now, we're just not going to need it. We just don't have the charged surface quartz to make it up. So we're going to place our cable. Next thing we're going to make is going to help us with our charged surface quartz problems. Really excited about this, and I'm so glad that we could make it up. So it's called the charger. I talked about it before, and it looks like we're going to have to use our last... Uh, our last charged crystal right here not a big deal because once we have this charger we can make up some more so one here one of these and one of these guys oh our 10 that works and in a second it combines up we'll just grab the rest of the nether quartz out and we have our two crystals 
So it's just these crystals and some iron and we got our charger. Nice guys. So this should be able to hook right up to our cable and right there we can see it has power. And there are little, uh, in the little box see you guys above the screen uh, it appears right here. It says 1.5 KAE out of 1.5 KAE. So that's Killa Applied Energistics Energy or something like that. So what we can do is we'll come over to our chests here. This is where most of our like gems and that kind of thing are. We have Surtis Quartz. So we can just kind of click over here, right click on it, and in a second it should convert this regular Surtis Quartz to charged Surtis Quartz. There we go. It kind of turned a little bit brighter. We can pick it up. And we got the achievement. Shocking. Very nice, guys. So we got more charged Surtis. So I'm just going to sit here for a little bit and charge up some more of this. And I'll bring you guys back once I'm done. Okay, guys. We're back. I made up nine of these charged Surtis. So let's do that. Throw these over there. And we have nine nether quartz as well. Bam. Done. Super fast. Super easy. Good stuff. It does not take long at all to make those. Um, it's a little bit bit strange how it how it works it doesn't always want to charge it right away I find that here I'll just kind of demonstrate for you guys it's kind of got a reminder as I was doing it sometimes you throw it in and it goes right away like that other times it takes a while kind of like this right now it's not really working too well um, I don't know why it does this but see it took a long time sometimes I just find it's good if you just kind of spam click it a little bit just give it a couple seconds each time and there we got five so sometimes it'll like do it right away sometimes it won't but I just find it's an easy easy way to get around it so let's get working towards what we'll need to actually have an ME system so this was kind of just our basic startup now we'll be moving towards some of the actual items that will be storing uh, what we have here so we need to make up uh, one of these and to do that we're gonna need these crazy little thing so this is made in the inscriber so we need silicon we need diamonds we need redstone it's a whole big process and all of this is accomplished with right here the inscriber so for that we'll need more flux crystals that's when we made those up we'll need more iron not a problem and we need some sticky pistons that shouldn't be too bad either I have some pistons right here and I believe from our slime trees, we should have slime balls somewhere around here. Let's see, where did I put all those guys? Well, in any case, let's just take this short, shorter route here. You know, I might have them in my bag. Nope. Oh, well, we probably used them all. Not a big deal. We'll just come over to our slime tree and we'll pick some slimes. That's so nice. And you just punch this with your fist. Like, it works just as well. As an axe. There we go. Punch that up. And I find if you like break one block, it kind of helps with the decay. It'll start decaying a little faster. Uh, we'll come out here in a second and pick up any saplings that we end up getting from that. But, bam, 20. Perfect. And we got our sticky pistons. Good stuff. Let's throw this right there. That works. Let's get back to it. So we have our pistons. I think I will actually make up two of these because you need uh, you need them a lot and you need them to make various items. So having two to, so we can work twice as fast is a good idea. So let's come over here and for now, hmm, how do we want to run this? So they can take power, I think, from any side. Um, and it might be a good idea just to kind of run them in front right here, but it would look really ugly. This guy's kind of in our way, and I don't want to break him because he has 400,000 RF in him. And if we break him, we lose all of that RF. Uh, it might mean moving this guy. Let me just take a little cut here, guys. I'll figure out where I want to put these, and I'll bring you back. Okay, so I found a good spot for them. I ended up just making up some more cable, running it under here, and over to this side and I kind of broke some blocks out of the wall here just to make some space for it I think it looks all right I'm gonna fill in this hole with one of these guys bam it's like it belongs there it's like it was built to be there guys perfect so in this what we're gonna need is we're gonna need our silicon silicon press or silicone whatever and we're also gonna need let's just come over here we need the diamonds which is the engineering so what do I have here I have the logic Oh, actually, it's right beside me. 
in this chest right here. So we have calculation, engineering, logic. So let's grab our engineering press to make up our diamond stuff. So we'll put one of those there. And does it have power? Let's see, it should have power, although it says it doesn't. That's so weird. You know what, maybe it can accept power from all sides. It might have to be the top, which would be kind of weird. Well, in any case, let's just pick these up. No harm, no foul, right? Pick this up. Get our uh, little things back here. And, you know what, just for the sake of speed, let's just run it across the top. Get this out of the way and throw these on. Huh, still no power. Unless it's just not reading it. I've had it before where these just aren't um, registering that it has power, which is weird. So let's come over here. We're going to need to cook up some of our nether quartz dust, which is going to make us silicone, which is what we're going to be doing uh, to make these wafers. All of these take redstone, one of these silicon printed things, and then a different kind of... The, of uh, this is engineering, this is made from diamonds, there's one made from uh, calculation, which is the purified Certus Quartz, and we also have one made from gold, right there. Pretty simple stuff, but all of it takes the silicon, so we need a lot of this. Let's put it in and see what happens. Okay, see, it has power. You know what, I think it was just messing with us, guys. See, it still says zero. Huh. Alright, I'm going to rewire this back how I had it, because I think this looks ugly try rewiring it and it should work okay fix this hole in the wall because no one likes a hole in the wall and we'll just chuck this guy back right oh actually we need to fill the hole with the cable excuse me hello there we go good stuff just how we had it before and the other thing is you can only feed these one at a time yes yeah, it's working great we're gonna need to get some diamonds how are we doing on the diamond situation we have three. Hmm. Believe we're gonna need at least one. What? What's happening? Oh, I put the wrong press in. That would do it. There we go. And we'll make up one of these. Oh, it's a really cool animation, guys. You kind of watch it. All of a sudden, it squashes the diamond. And makes one of these. Very nice. So now all we need to do is remove that. Stick the silicon one here. Stick this here. Stick a piece of redstone in it. And we're going to make up one of these, what are they actually called? Engineering processors. Very nice. It's a lot more complicated than it used to be, guys. AE1 was a walk in the park next to this, next to AE2, which is applied energistics. All right, we'll replace that. We'll replace this. Inventory management's a bit of an issue at the moment. So let's come over here. Uh... You know, at this... Oh, guys, look, we had, we had slime balls right there. You guys were probably all yelling at me. There's slime balls right there. Oh, well. Stick that over, stick that over, stick that. And we'll play, throw these in there. And I'll throw my buckets in here. Good. Clear out some more space in the old inventory. You see why I need a dump chest, guys. I need an AE system. So, we need to make this guy. We have, th we have these, we have iron, we have cables. Uh, I think we have cables. Yep. We should be able to make this. Nice. This is going fast, guys. And we have our first drive bay. Sweet. Now, where where am I going to actually set up my ACE system? I think I'll set it up maybe right here. Um, let's get these back down. So we'll stick that there, and we can stick our, our drives right there. So now what we need is let's see i'm gonna stick one more cable on top of it because this is how we're gonna we're gonna have to attach our panel to this so that we can actually view it and let's take a look we should be able to get to a crafting tape or a crafting terminal pretty easily uh, and i say that relatively uh so there's emmy terminal at me crafting terminal uh all it takes is oh it takes a calculation processor that's right huh okay well, we can work, start getting that going right away. So we got some extra of this. I need to grind down one regular Surtis Quartz. And then what I need to do is I need to get some sand from over here. One piece of sand. And I think it's nighttime. <laughs> is it? Oh, very close. Sleepy time, sleepy time. No, not yet. 
No. There we go. Man, do not want to let it be nighttime. We gotta keep our dinos safe, guys. We're in like a super dangerous world here. So, we made these little specks, which are actually Certus Quartz seeds. Now, we're gonna come over to our little water pool here. If we throw these seeds in this pool, they're gonna start growing. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, oh, if you leave them alone, they're gonna despawn. But nope, the seeds from this mod actually never despawn. It's going to take something ridiculous, like, I don't know, 20 minutes, an hour, uh, I'm not really sure, to grow these into pure Surtis Quartz Crystals. But there's something we can build to kind of help speed up the process called Crystal Growth Accelerators. Maybe just, yeah, Crystal Growth Accelerators. They take a lot of flux. Um, some of these smart cables, or covered cables, do they take, does it have to be those? Or I wonder if it'll work with normal iron and some quartz so they significantly increase or uh, reduce the time it takes for that to uh, to grow now are we burning through fuel constantly I think we are but that's not a big deal not a huge deal so while that's growing let's just keep working on our panels here so to get the terminal we need a logic press and it's two logic presses some flux dust three logic presses uh, and some glowstone and iron all right we should be able to do this so we need our logic so we're gonna put that in there and we need some gold I just happen to have a huge amount of gold right here so let's get that going uh, we're just gonna press up some of these and in the meantime we need to keep pressing the silicon because we're gonna need one of those for every single one of these that we have. So that's two. Let's get the last one going. As you can see, it's a bit of a, a game here going back and forth, but oh well. You get it done. Not too big of a deal. Okay, so here, stick one of these there, one there, one there, and it's going to crank these out. I'm going to do, you know, what? I'm going to do a little bit of crafting off cam, guys, because this is not the most exciting thing ever. And I'll bring you back when we're a little closer to having our AE system. Okay, everybody, we're getting ready to make up some drives for our uh, our little system here. So we're just going to go with 1K drives because we have a very, very large amount of items. And we don't necessarily have a huge amount of anything. So we're just going to go with 1K because it's going to give us the most amount of items, most uh, variety for our, ba our most bang and variety for our buck here, pretty much. So... We're just going to do that. We made some of these guys up. Now we just need iron, redstone, quartz, glass. Make up five of these drives. They don't actually stack, which is uh, which is a little interesting. But we can chuck all these in there. And I made an ME terminal. It's not a crafting terminal because... I got more junk on the ground there. And it's nighttime. But uh, it's not crafting yet because that requires us to have our pure sort of quartz crystal. Um, which is what we're growing over here and as you can see we are only 2% done and it's been at least 10-15 minutes yeah we're gonna need to do something about that <laughs> I am NOT sitting around here for that long um, so guys we got something that does work I mean I can you know I can stick my weed in there I can take it back out um, really really nice but it's time to move towards a crafting terminal because that's really where this system shines. And for power wise, we're going to need to set up something here. Oh, we're burning a lot of power all of a sudden. Huh. So it looks like, how much are we producing? It's, it's only throttling at 50, so that's kind of weird. It's not producing, I guess it's uh, producing exactly what we need. As far as, and it's keeping it steady. Okay, okay, not a big deal. I was going to say, I didn't think this system would pull more than this is producing. So the bigger we build our system, the more we add to it, the more energy it's going to take. So if we add more drives, it's going to take more power. And so that is something we'll have to address at some point. But I think what we really need is to get this crafting terminal. So that means we need these to grow, which means we need to make our crystal growth accelerators. So that's going to take iron, some of these cover some of these glass cables oh, I guess we can use regular glass cables nice uh, quartz glass and flux blocks here so oh that's weird it takes it can use we can use the grown ones but it doesn't work as well 
Fair enough. So I'm going to start working towards making some of these up. And once I have some of the components together, guys, we'll be back. Okay, so we finally got our crystal growth accelerators up and running. Or, well, not up and running, but we got them crafted. Getting a little ahead of myself here. So we got that. We got some extra cables. Let's come over here and see what we can kind of rig up. We're working in a really confined space here. And it's not really optimal, but we're just going to work with what we have. Just because um, I, just, I just really want to get this done and over with. So the thing about these crystal growth accelerators, they only accept power from the bottom. So we're going to need to do something a little fancy here. Okay, so this is right on this level is where we're going to want uh, the water to be. So let's dig down one more level. Oh, look, we actually have water down here. That's kind of funny. Uh, let's run our cable like this. And we're going to try and place this underneath. And, of course, we're stuck. Let's move over. Let's place this that way. Perfect. Okay. So the thing is, these are going to suck juice like crazy. And by juice, I mean electricity. These suckers just eat through a hydro like crazy. We're not going to want to keep these hooked up all the time. So we'll run run one over like this, put that there, and we'll run another one over like this. We'll put it right about here. Oh, actually, it's not, that's not the right thing. Put it right there. Okay, good, good. So now all we need is a bucket of water. So let's go over here, grab one of our buckets. And we're going to go over here and grab the seeds and the water that's in its place, that it's sitting in. There we go. So, as you can see, all that time, guys, we're at 3%. It's just ridiculous. Okay, so let's do that, and let's see if I can throw this in the right spot. Perfect. Okay. So we're going to leave this running. I'm betting this is using as much power as this thing can give it. Uh, let's put our bucket away. That's what it's check here is how much is this using right now yeah it's losing power hopefully it kicks up it up a notch soon but yeah we're burning through lava pretty quick now let's take a look it's only been in there for a couple seconds and it's already up to 18 percent look at that see this is the way to grow them all right guys i'm gonna wait for these to finish growing and we'll be back in a second Okay, everybody, looks like they're finally done. Let's check it out. Bam. Certus Quartz Crystals, guys. So excited, so excited. This is great. So the next thing we need to do, pick up our water. Get that out of the way. And I want to disconnect to these. So breaking that guy right there is what I needed to do. Now, is there a way I can pick this up? All right. So, yeah, everything's disconnected. We're totally stuck. <laughs> Uh, all right, let's see if I can do that. And this. Oh, there we go. Man, look at those skills. And for now, we're just going to chuck... Uh, you know what? No, let's not do that. And eh, whatever. You can see down there. Let's stick to this right like this. Oh, darn. That's not what I wanted to do either. <sighs> the gymnastics of working through a base here, guys. So I don't want this to connect to power. Can I connect? No, it's going to want to connect to that every time. Alright, fine. Be that way. We will work around it. We'll stick this right here. And I'll stick this crystal growth accelerator right here. That way they're not using power. I mean, this one's not connected right there. That's so weird. So, that way they're not using power because they draw ridiculous amounts of power, to be honest. Uh, so, what we need now is we're going to grab this. And we're going to come over here. And, oh, actually, hold on. Before all that, we need to grab our, not our logic, our calculation, I think is what it is. Calculation press. We throw that in there. Throw in one of these. Perfect. We're going to get exactly what we're looking for here. And we're going to grab some of this. And I actually need more redstone. I used up all my redstone, I guess. Oh, look at that. Plenty of redstone. No problem at all, guys. No problem at all. All right, good stuff. Let's stick our redstone, let's stick this, and we'll stick this guy. And we're finally going to get our calculation press. Whew. Bit of work on this, guys. But 
I know this isn't really dinosaur-y, but honestly, this is going to help us a huge amount. And we're playing in a pack that has a lot more to offer than just the dino, so we got to be able to manage all of that. So we'll stick this in there, we'll stick this in there, and we'll stick this in there. Does it matter? Oh, perfect. Emmy Crafting Terminal. Check it out, guys. If you have never seen the power of Emmy Crafting ter Terminal, oh, you guys are missing out. So we can stick all of our stuff in here. So hold on. Stick that, stick this, 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 this over here. Some of that, some of this, some of this, 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 this. Uh, anything that's like doesn't need processing, we're going to stick in there. Anything we're going to use for crafting. Like, for example, let's come in here. Let's grab, hold on, let's arrange our stuff. Let's grab a whole bunch of this gold. Looks like we had a bit of a backlog with iron there. Grab some lead, electrum, more lead, tin, iron. And we're going to stick all of this in here. And it's going to take it all. It's just perfect. And as you can see, we, uh, it's going to stack it all into nice little stacks. Tell us exactly how much we have. We have 450 something gold right there, guys. Oh, just so nice. Uh, let's do a little bit of this. Grab that out of there and yeah you know what? I'll keep this out right now we don't have a huge amount of space so I'm trying not to stick everything in here at once eventually we will eventually we're just gonna stick chuck everything we got in there but for now I kinda wanna just stick um, you know some of our basic things that we're gonna be crafting with I wanna try and stick a lot of these uh, gemstone kinda guys in here so that we can see how much we have of those grab some emeralds Grab a little bit of coal, a little bit of redstone, grab our diamonds. This is going to be sweet, guys. We're going to be able to get stuff done so much faster. Eventually, we're not going to have to look through any of our chests. We're just going to have everything in there, and it's going to be awesome. So I think that's going to wrap everything up for this episode, guys. Thanks so much for coming by. I know a little bit of a slower episode, but if you're still hanging around, still checking things out, thanks so much for sticking around. Really appreciate it. If you like the video, don't forget to hit, to hit the like button. And if you're looking for more videos, guys, check out the playlist. There's plenty there. And we'll talk to you later.